Lincoln? Where is she? I don't know. I blame you, Lionel. I blame you for anything that has happened to her. Look, she probably just hasn't gotten home yet. Why are you blaming me for everything that happens? Why shouldn't I? It's always your fault. It's just wonderful how casually you take your duties as a father. I do not take them casually, and don't blame me for it. Brick, I want you to drive back to the harbor and see if you can find Lakin anywhere. Well, anywhere on the road, coming or going. I just keep driving around looking for her. She's got to be somewhere. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Look, I, I just want to make a call first. Just a moment. Who are you calling? You'll see. Can't you ever give me a straight answer? Look who's talking. Hello? Hello, who is this? Who's calling? Is that you, Eden? Hello, Augusta. What do you want? I just want to know if you've seen Lakin. No, I haven't seen Lakin. Why would I? I simply thought you might. I hoped she was there, actually. We can't find her, and we don't know where she is, and we're very worried about her. Not that I expect you to know anything about concern for another human being. Augusta, leave her alone. Lionel is telling me to leave you alone. He's here with me for once. Good night, Augusta. Wait a minute, Eden. If anything has happened to Lakin, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Hold on a minute. Ted? It's Augusta Lockridge on the phone. She wants to talk to you about Lakin. Hello? Ted, do you have any idea where Lakin might be? Yeah, she's at home as far as I know. No, she is not. We're at home and there's no sign of her. Now, look, you left with her, so she's your responsibility. Now, if you do know anything about her, I don't want you keeping it from me. I don't, honest. I thought you drove home with a uh, brick. Well, I mean, I asked her to come with me, but she said she wanted to go home with brick instead. Well, she changed her mind at some point and got out again. Brick said she was very upset, and I want you to tell me what happened while you were in the harbor that upset her. I'm sorry, I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? I mean, I'm not going to tell you. Who do you think you are? I demand that you tell me. Did you and she happen to see Lionel and your sister together? Look... Is that what disturbed her so much? What happened is our business, Mrs. Lockridge, and I don't want to talk about it. Now, if Lakin wants to tell you, well, it's up to her. What's going on? It's your fault, all of it. What's my fault, that Lakin didn't come home? Please, give me a break. What is going on? Does everybody in this house have to yell at everyone else? You and Lionel Lockridge are sleeping together, aren't you? What? Ted! Or if not, at the very least, you're seeing each other a whole lot. Are you out of your mind? Where'd you get an idea like this? Well, apparently I'm not the la I'm the last one to find out. Now, Lakin has been hearing all these kinds of rumors here, and it's getting her very upset, and she is not the only one. I give you my word of honor. It isn't true. Of course it isn't true. How could you ever say a thing like that about your own sister? What does her being my sister have to do with it? Now, just stay out of it, Kelly. Let her defend herself if she can. I can't. I just don't see why I should. Lakin and I saw you with him today on the deck of his boat. Oh, yes, I was there. I was there. I was diving. To find out about the treasure and all the other stuff down at the Amanda Lockridge. Lionel's divers picked me up and brought me to his boat and took me back to the harbor. But that's all. You better be telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I wouldn't lie to you. You know, I want to believe you. Believe me. Well, I've got to go see if I can talk to him again.